Mashallah, mashallah, money spender. Mashallah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is actually your first time of visiting my channel, kindly subscribe and click on the notification button so that you'll be getting the latest gist. Hello, Nigeria. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, as we all know, uh, the popular musician we have in Nigeria, in the person of Whiskey, has received a lot of tribute songs from his fans uh, over the weeks and over some months now. You know, Whiskey has really made a name for himself in the music industry, in the country and outside the country. You know, a few weeks ago, uh, the popular comedian we have in Nigeria, Kata Efe, released a song for Whiskey, which he titled uh, Machala, and the song went viral. You know, it was really a hit uh, in the music industry. A lot of people streamed and uh, played the song, and people uh, commended the song and gave uh, Kata Efe accolades for actually composing such a beautiful and a, a lovely song for Whiskey. You know, the team generated a lot of uh, reactions, and this prompted a lot of other comedians to go and do their own uh, songs for their... Uh, own uh, best musicians in the person of uh, OGB recent who normally goes with the name Cortist made a song for the video which entitled Tati PG song and also some people are uh, some fans of Bonner Boy the African Giants equally made uh, some tribute or lo and lovely songs for him you know this has been ongoing to the extent that the portable as we say even got his own song from uh, one of the comedians whose name is uh, Cute Abdiola, but actually, uh, the one of uh, Kata Efe, that is the one that was sung for Whiskey, actually made it to the first hundred music in the Apple uh, uh, music within the country, and it's still topping a lot of ch charts in the music industry within and outside the country. You know, a lot of people have stated that um, the the music that is the Machala music sung by Kata Efe might equally win the Grammy Award. Well, it's still arguable, and uh, a lot of people doubt its uh, qualities to. And win a Grammy Award, but as it stands, the song is still making hits and still making waves within the music industry, not just in Nigeria and outside the country. Though Whiskey has not officially reacted to this particular uh, song that was actually uh, made for him by Kata Efe, you know, Whiskey is a very uh, cool guy, he's a private person, he doesn't really like uh, involving himself in a lot of things publicly. Uh, probably a lot of people are asking Kata Efe to be patient with Whiskey. Probably Whiskey is going to surprise him, maybe bring him out on a stage or for a show in outside the country. Well, nobody knows, but a lot of people are still asking Whiskey to react to the song that was sung for him by Kata Efe. But yet, nothing has been uh, said from the uh, from Whiskey. You know, even in his uh, social media accounts on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, he has not reposted the Kata Efe song, and nobody has ever seen him dancing to the that Machala song that was actually sung by Kata Efe. Notwithstanding, a lot of people believe that Whiskey loved the song and um, probably he's waiting for the right time to surprise uh, this popular musician known as a, uh, this popular comedian known as uh, Kata Efe. Well, also, the video has not equally reacted to the one that was sung for him by the OGB recent and his crew. You know, most of all these are top celebrities. They keep a private life and they have uh, their intentions. Nobody knows how these people is going to surprise these comedians that have, that have you know, release a tribute song for them and all that. Well, recently, as uh, a very funny incident, uh, Portable released a song titled Machala. You know, uh, in Nigerian music industry, it's his only whiskey that goes with the name Machala. No other musician uh, is being known with the name Machala. And recently, uh, Portable released the music titled Machala. He said a lot of things in the music, which uh, I will play later in this particular video for you guys to see what we do uh, uh, for the song. In the song. Well, after the song actually went viral, a lot of people were questioning what the was the meaning of the song. Was it for whiskey or was it against whiskey? Because the lady does the same as it is. It is a different case altogether. Nobody knows the inspiration behind the reason why he tied to the song as Machala. But a lot of people believe that, you know, Portable is a controversial person. He lacks respect for most of the top uh, musicians. If you recall, a uh, few months ago, during the Ocean State election, him and David Doe had a lot of crises and issues, which he had insulted and abused David Doe, and equally said a lot of things against David Doe because of uh, the political happenings in uh, Ocean State during that particular period. So Portable, as we all know, has really been a controversial artist. So people are questioning his... Uh, motivation behind the song Machala, you know, Whiskey FC, that is Whiskey fans are furious and they are curious to know why uh, Portable had to name his song uh, Machala, you know, uh, knowing fully well that Whiskey only goes with the name Machala, he's the only person that is known as Machala within and outside the country, you know, um, so Whiskey fans are actually uh, against uh, Portable and they are actually waiting for Portable's reaction to 
for him to state clearly uh, the reason and the, uh, the the meaning of the song he actually released uh, recently. Well, Portable, as we all know, is quite controversial. Nobody knows what he's going to say. Nobody knows uh, what, what is going to be his response to this particular inquiry made by Whiskey fans. You know, Portable, over the months, he has been entering from one case to another, from one particular trouble to another. If you could recall, I heard this award actually suspended this particular Portable because of uh, his character and his attitude he puts uh, towards uh, the, in the music industry. You know, immediately he was nominated uh, by the Hades Award in the country, he actually sent a threat to other artists that were nominated along with him, and this made a lot of people to criticize, to criticize him, and you know, and it forced the Hades Award to disqualify him and all that. And when they disqualified him, he didn't even feel remorseful to make apologies for what he said or what he did. He actually moved on and said it's. He is a child of grace and God is always with him. You know, without making any formal apology to head his award and for the threats uh, he actually uh, sent out to uh, his colleagues that we are equally nominated for the uh, award. Portable has really been a controversial uh, musician, you know. Since he came into limelight uh, after Olamide and Pokoli brought him into the music industry, you know, uh, Portable came into the music industry with his popular song, Zazu Ze, which... Uh, featured the likes of Olamide and uh, Pokuli, who is a dancer. And after that, then he actually made waves and broke uh, through the music industry. And he started featuring a lot of people. But his character and attitude is not something to write home about. A lot of people have criticized him. He has had issues with his management and all that. And this has led to a series of uh, issues between him and his management. If you could recall, Portable has changed virtually all his management. And every season, every month, you know, he keeps on changing his management because of uh, the issues and controversies he has with them. You know, Portable, I don't know, a lot of people have asked him to calm down, a lot of people have asked him to relax because he is truly talented. If you listen to his music, uh, he's really, really talented, but because of his stubbornness and his uh, attitude, a lot of people are criticizing him and many people have advised Portable to relax, to calm down, to shun all forms of uh, hooliganism and uh, uh, tout behavior and uh, intimidation, you know, it's not really good for his reputation and a lot of brands wouldn't actually help him out, especially in giving him endorsement deals and all that because of his character and the kind of uh, things he portrays to the public. And it's not even uh, a, a, something to talk about, you know, it's not really a good sign for our kids to uh, emulate such person because of the things he does and because of the way he does and because of the things he says with his mouth. Well, portable recently released the song, Machala, and a lot of people, the internet is going agog, and, uh, and a lot of people are questioning Portable's uh, 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 motivation behind the song, Machala. You know, a few weeks ago, uh, actually, a few months ago, he has begged the likes of Whiskey and uh, Bonaboy to feature him in one of uh, in their songs, but, you know, uh, there haven't been any form of green light from Whiskey and Bonaboy to feature uh, Portable. I believe this is making Portable mad, and he's probably going all out against these particular top musicians within the country. For him to release a song titled Majala means he has something against Whiskey or probably he's beefing Whiskey since Whiskey has refused to feature him after all his pleadings and uh, beggings and all that. You know, Whiskey actually snubbed him. He made a video publicly and, and he was begging uh, Whiskey to feature him in one of his songs, but Whiskey refused to feature him and probably this made him upset and angry. The, in, uh, also, uh, Bonner Boy actually refused to feature him to after he begged Odogu, that is the giant of Africa, that is a Bonner boy to feature him in one of his songs. And Bonner boy actually uh, posted a picture of him in one of his uh, albums as one of his cover albums, which equally generated a lot of mixed reactions and all that. Well, Portable uh, have actually released this song and will await the reactions of uh, a lot of people and what the meaning of the song entails. You know, I, he spoke in Yoruba mostly, and I believe my Yoruba brothers and sisters and fans here will understand uh, perfectly well what. Uh, Portable was saying and uh, the kind of things he was saying in the lyrics of that particular song titled Machila. Well, I would like you guys, especially the, the Yoruba fans, my Yoruba fans, to actually uh, drop the comments, uh, the translation of the lyrics in the comment section so that others will understand what Portable was actually saying. Well, if this is your first time of visiting my channel and you love what we're doing here and you are interested in our stories and our entertainment news, Kindly click on the not notification button so that you get notified whenever I drop a new video. And click on the subscription button so that you become one of my subscribers. Subscribers so that you will be getting more information, updates, and most of the things happening within this country. Well, thank you for watching my video. My name is Franklin Chibese, and uh, if this is your first time, I appreciate you for watching. My